I'm kind of crazy, um, you know, just getting ready for the game, uh, getting ready to play, and then, you know, getting a call from the coach, come meet, you know, then he tells you the news. Um, so, yeah, you know, I was told uh, that I was getting traded. Don't know where, but, you know, stay tuned. And then I found out I was being traded to the Bulls, you know, uh, just look at it positive. Another opportunity to play the game I love and, you know, for the Chicago Bulls at that, so. They're in a good stage. Much more back at the AC, but that's that's perfect right here, so at least you got something. Yeah. yeah. Ottawa will start at three until we get him going, and then he might slide over to place at four as we go down the stretch. That's Jefferson there, so where can you be if you're guarding Jefferson? Right at the nail, okay? That's going to be an adjustment for you. It's an adjustment for guys that come into our system, right, Chad, Wayne, you know? Looking forward to the change. You know, I know we have a lot of young guys, but it's an opportunity for all of us to, you know, get to know each other and grow up together. Watch the duck contest when Zach was in it, you know, what he can do, athleticism, marketing, you know, the way he can play and shoot at his size. Uh, he's young, he still has a lot of potential, a lot of growth. Just want to be embraced into the community, into the you know, Midwest again, you know, where basketball is a very huge part of the culture in the city, so I'm very excited. The writing up with our, our pre-game coaches um, match up with players, shooting times. The problem is it's changed over now after the trade deadline, so we have to rehaul our last uh, groups and figure out the new match. Man, it just happened so fast. You know, I'm kind of shocked, but you know, that's the business part of it. Three Big East players of the year coming to my team. When you were Big East player of the year, right? that lets you know something about the Big East. <laughs> I like to look day of game, what's going on. I'll talk to Chris and Tim tonight, the radio broadcasters, talk to them just about what they see in their team lately. And they'll ask me questions about the Bulls, what's going on, and that'll be relevant for the game tonight. The Bulls made a trade at the deadline. Otto Porter Jr. joins up, a good shooter out of Georgetown from Washington. I have so much passion about the Bulls. I have poured myself into my job. And so when we have a broadcast, to me, it's a celebration of the game of basketball. All the information you see here, here, and here, and the data that we have on players, it really accumulates during the course of a season, and we continue to update it. I like to know what guys are shooting and their percentages, three-point shots. I have my iPad that I use during the game. I'm trying to be green, not waste paper, and I'll put the notes and the stats that I like to have during the game in order so I know where they are. And Chuck has a tendency to spill a drink, so the iPad's a little safer than paper is. We're like an old married couple, because I know when Bill's coming in and out of a sentence, and when he needs it, and when I need to make a call. Chuck is really the captain of the ship. Because obviously on radio, play by play, you, if you're listening, you got to know what's going on. Live from Brooklyn, New York, it's time for Chicago Bulls basketball. Let's go with our starting lineups now. First for the visiting Chicago Bulls. Otto Porter Jr., the veteran out of Georgetown, only 25 years young, six years in the NBA, will start tonight making his Bulls debut. Porter dials up a left side three. Bam! Welcome to Chicago, Otto Porter Jr. And here's the crossover, D'Angelo Russell got stripped on the runway, unassisted. Levine throws it down with a two-handed dunk. Need to see a lot more of that going forward. Wayne Selden going upstairs and a reverse two-handed dunk by Zach Levine. And that will do it for the half. We got 24 minutes of basketball left. Don't touch that dial. It's not all about X and O's. Yes, you got to know your stuff, but it is about your chemistry and how you present it. Are you engaging the listeners? Dunn, face left, top side, rainbow three, yes! Chris Dunn. That's just a smart play by Chris Dunn, seeing that the defense goes way under the screen. 
Right side, Porter for three. Got it! Otto Porter Jr. making his Bulls debut. A perfect five for five with three triple. He's, he's got 13. Every game has a storyline. Every game brings you new awareness of where this is taking us as a franchise, and that's why I still get fired up. Left hand dribble drive, jump pass up top, down wide to the right, market it, open three, bam! Lowry marketed is having a magnificent ball game here in Brooklyn. Bulls win, Bulls win, Bulls win, 125 to 106. So how do you play 34 minutes, 18 points, four boards? Take us through what your world has been like over the last 48 hours. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, it's been crazy last couple of days. Um, getting acquainted uh, with my team. Trades are always crazy, so, you know, I just try to prepare as best I can. How difficult was that today coming in and, and, and producing the way you did was phenomenal. You know, my coaches and my teammates, they made it easy, you know, for me. It wasn't hard at all. I was very comfortable. All right, we're going to let you go. Welcome to Chicago. We're very, very excited to have you here. We will talk to you after the ball game on the plane. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Woo! It was a tough one on the road. Uh, you know, great W, great team W. Uh, Got to get ready for another one. Um, the film is great. Uh, we can start to get used to it. Hi, everyone. It's Ryan Archidiakino. Thanks for watching. For more Run With Us episodes, click here.